You went black female on me. You didn't answer the question. You went nasty. You say I went black female on you? Yes. What exactly do you mean? You know how black pe- females like you have a nasty personality? And when someone doesn't agree with them or, or a reasonable person, the black woman go female. You know, they go nasty. Just as you just did. Did yeah. Coulter retweet you, or does she think you're a nasty, lazy black man? What hand did he have to say about you? That, or do they say anything about you? Because they probably don't care. Because remember, all lives matter, right? Except for yours, if uh, you were held up by a cop. Are you saying Did that? I start that crap with me? Like, uh, really? You think this is going to be a civilized discussion? You call yourself a Christian? And you want to start a discussion <laughs> by calling me names? Are you, Boy, you need to go to school and grow up. This conversation is over. Uh-uh. Are you about to run? She ran. Hello, Cultural Warriors. How y'all doing today? My name is Roland, and you can see this debate is hot. This debate between Jesse and this woke lady went off the cuffs from the very beginning. It went south. Please turn on the notification bell and make sure you subscribe to this channel already if you love videos like this. Let's jump right into it. Yesterday, I was interviewing on Fox Business Channel there, and one of the things I was asked about was uh, reparations and that the United Nation has decided that America owe black people reparations. So I was asked, what did I think about that? I said, no way. Black people not owe anything. It's time for them to start doing for themselves. I, um, and I got a lot of negative responses, some, a lot of good ones as well. I have with me Natasha Marion. Um, she is the woman behind the project reparations.me, a social media experiment in which black posts request. So black people go on this site and they post request for reparation. Uh, for, in parentheses here, for physical or emotional help. And whites offer favor. So you can go on this site and say, hey, I need someone, an example, I don't know if this is on there or not. Uh, I need, hey, I need someone to come and clean my house. And a white person go on and say, okay, black person, I'll come and clean your house for you. I, I need to go on this site because I definitely need help cleaning my house. I'm Skyping with Natasha. Natasha, good morning, and thank you for coming on. Good morning. How are you? All is well. I appreciate you being here. Very interesting website, reparations.me. How did you come up with this idea, or why? Well, I think the first thing I should say is that your summary may be misleading to people. Okay. Um, I definitely encourage people to actually go to the website and to click on the About page and just do the most fundamental research before sort of reacting. Um, The website is about bringing about healing in the present tense, for um, many of us who feel like our spirits are a bit broken right now, there's a lot of racial tension in our country, and many people don't feel like they can do anything about it. Um, they feel like the problem is too big, and they don't feel empowered to to do anything personally themselves. And so the idea behind my website is that each one of us can take some time and think about um, how we add value to our communities. And if you identify as white, which is certainly a decision that people make, um, if you identify as white, then you can think about, is there anything that you can do to help those in your community who don't have the privileges that you have? Um, For instance, if you have a professional career, um, perhaps you could help somebody with networking. Maybe you could mentor somebody, look over a resume. All the stuff she's talking about, well, it don't make any sense. Why don't you just, just why don't they just go get a job or something and just get on with life instead of just playing the victim all the time and looking for people to literally begging for help from people and you know blaming other people, especially the white man, for their problems. So I, I don't know. I don't, this doesn't make any sense. Maybe even um, 
take on somebody as a like as a new hire who's looking for a job. Um, there are many ways to leverage your privilege. So the site is allowing people who may or may not agree with any of the philosophies behind the project to practice leveraging their privilege, which is something that all of us can do regardless of how we identify, because uh, privilege is intersectional. And so is it black people who are feeling that, I mean, who are feeling that their spirits are broken? Um, are you are you a black person asking me a black person to speak for all black people? Because we both know how ignorant that is. Like, let's not do that. Is it, is it, <laughs> I can speak for myself. Like, will you say my maybe, experience is um, looking at the bombardment of negativity in the media, um, all the police shootings, the mass shootings, the school shootings, and if that's not getting you down, then you're probably not an extremely human individual. Because so, I feel like human suffering is something that we should all respond to. So are you saying that it's black people who are feeling that their spirits are broken? Are you asking me the same question again? You didn't Just answer the question. You, you, were, you went black female on me. You didn't answer the question. You went nasty. Answer the question. Is it black? You said that there are people who are feeling that their spirits let's, let's are broken. Let's back up a little bit. When you say I went black female on you, yes. what exactly do you mean? You know how black pe females like you have a nasty personality and when someone doesn't agree with them or, or a reasonable person, the black woman go female. You know, they go nasty, just as you just did. I have so no I idea what you, you mean. I have a question for you, I though. You. No, um, no, I see no. you retweet Ann Coulter a lot. Does she ever retweet you? I need you to answer the question. Are you saying that... Does Ann Coulter retweet you, or does she think you're a nasty, lazy black man? Are you saying that... I'm just curious, because if I'm a going black female, then you must stay black male. Like, what does Bill O'Reilly have to say about you? What does Sean Hannity have to say about you? That... Or do they say anything about you? Because they probably don't care. Because remember, all lives matter, right? Except for yours, if uh, you were held up by a cop. Are you saying I... that... Start that crap with me? Like, uh, really? You think this is going to be a civilized discussion? You call yourself a Christian? And you want to start a discussion by calling me names? Are you, Boy, you need to go to school and grow up. This conversation is over. Uh-uh. Are you about to run? She ran. She ran. Isn't that beautiful? Natasha Marin. What's her name? M-A-R-I-N. Did she run, James? Get her back. I think she ran. She's not coming back. Well, let James at least try. This lady don't want the chicken song, does she? Yeah, I told you these angry people, they can't handle any truth at all. She, I think she ran. She's back. Natasha, you're back? Well, I don't know. Have you decided to be a mature adult? It you can like, have a conversation without calling names. Are you channeling you, Donald Trump today? I, I thought you ran, but I'm glad you didn't run. You're not a coward. Thank you for coming back. Um, a coward? Like what? A troll? Like you? I Somebody said, who calls people names and they don't even know what the person is, what their life experience is? Let me go back to my original question. Are you saying that it's black people who are feeling that their spirits are, are dead or hurt or whatever you said? Is it black people with broken spirits? Just one person. So what I do is I use my senses, common sense, one of them, to look into that, and I listen to the people around me, all people, because we are all human, right? You are a human being. I'm a human being. Um, the people around us who are seeing what's going on in our country are upset. And so, the humans who are still in touch with their compassion and their hearts don't like to see kids being shot at school. They don't like to know that their sons and daughters could go out dancing one night and get killed in a nightclub. People don't like to know that you could get pulled over for expired tags and not live to see the next day. So let me Based go back. Let me ask this way then. Are ridiculous you saying, as the color of somebody's skin. Are you saying that your spirit is broken? No, I'm not saying that my spirit is broken. So what's what the, I'm saying what's is the purpose there are many people in this country right now of all identities who do not feel very good. They do not feel healthy and whole Why not? in the racial landscape. Why not? 
And those people are all different colors. And Every why is kind of that, shade you could think of. Why, did, why is it that they don't feel healthy or whole? Because this country isn't healthy and whole right now. And, and if you can't pick up on that, then like I can't help people like you. Give me, give me an example of the country not being healthy and whole. Have you been paying attention to anything that's been happening in the news? Well, I see black people, not all, not all, but most, I see black people out of control, but that's due to the feeling of their parents and the lack of more character. Oh, How, God. So you're basically a self-hating Negro. That's that's who you are, right? What do you, what do you mean by that? Like, you hate yourself. No, why do you say that? Um, well, if you're about to start talking to me about, quote-unquote, black and on black crime, I'm going to roll my eyes and hope that one day... You know, God blesses your heart, yours specifically. Um, and so let me ask, reparation me. So black people can go on your site and ask for help from white people. How would that stop them from acting out in the manner that they're acting out? You know, we see a lot of thugs being killed by police officers. I don't know what you mean by this term acting out. Are you talking like... Timothy McVeigh acting out. You talking Jeffrey Dahmer acting out. You talking Donald Trump acting out. What kind of acting out? Ann Coulter acting out. What kind of acting out? Where is all your hostility coming from? Why are you so angry? Am I angry? Are you angry? You don't see that you have an attitude right now? Do I have an attitude? No, I, said, I haven't do called you any see? names. I said, do you but see... <laughs> See, I went to high school in the South, and I know probably a lot of your listeners are Southern. There's this little thing that we like to do in the South, and it's, it's called politeness. It's called etiquette. So if I meet you for the first time, it's really quite rude and makes me look bad if I insult you the very first time I meet you. And you did that with me. And that's and why I you have are, no idea who that's brought why you, you up. That's why you name call you up probably didn't do a very good job if they didn't cover that part. That's why you right? name calling. So like, when you have a guest, you should be kind to your guest. And that's why you know, you like the Native Americans were when the white people invaded America. Natasha, you say you're an artist, a conceptual artist, right? Yeah. Is it true that conceptual art is fake art? Well, I guess that would be up to you. How much do you know about art? I'm not, that's what I'm asking you. You're the expert in that area. Uh, is it fake art? Is radio fake media? <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself acting this way, girl. Really? Are you my daddy? Did you my mom? Are you telling me what to do now? You are... Be you, my daddy. Is that what this is about, Jesse Lee? You have a foul oh, mouth. Oh, come on now. Let's take some calls. Hold on. You Keep know it. what's a woman, you have no business telling me what to do. Keep it you clean. worry about yourself. How are your kids? Are you raising them? Keep it clean. Don't go. No talk nasty on the radio. You can't speak that way on the nasty radio. Nasty on the radio? Yeah. Who are you talking nasty to? You can't tell a woman what to do who you don't know Keep and it. expect that that's going to go well. Come on, ask a friend. Watch your ask mouth. A friend, call a friend. Watch your mouth. I'm sure your father would be embarrassed by you. For instance, I have a master's degree. I don't think Jesse Lee Peterson has one, so in that Thank case, God. I would have Thank more God I don't have one than him um, because I could take that education and those critical thinking skills out into the world and help other people. Do you realize that you are on a serious ego trip that's going to hurt you in the long run? You're in denial. It's like you are like Donald Trump. You are an emotional. Like, being, like I'm going to be like suddenly like up for president of the United States. Do you like, realize, come on now. Do you realize, Since when does narcissism hurt people? Do you realize? I mean, you, hold on, Natasha, right? Hold How's on. it hurting you? Hold on. Do you realize that you are... I hardly have an entire radio show dedicated Natasha, to you. Natasha, do you realize... Wild do you realize thoughts. that you're an emotional Hi. bastard case? <laughs> Natasha, you realize you're an emotional bastard case already? Oh, are you calling names again? Are you angry? Let's go. Jesse through. Lee, what would Jesus say about this anger? Are you a Christian? That is not how you treat your neighbor. Are you a Christian? Natasha, are you a Christian? Are you a Christian? Because I believe in treating people as well as you want to be treated. And Hold I don't spend a whole a lot break. of time let me talking take a over break. people, calling let's, them names, Natasha, especially when I break. don't know what they know. Let me take a break. We'll come back straight to the phones. Everybody and their mama want to talk to you. 
back in a moment. Look like she has a child. Poor child. Natasha, I saw a little child there looking into the screen. Is that your son or daughter? Is that your son or daughter? Uh, is that a yes or a no? Are we, are we here to talk about my family? Is that what you want to talk about? Because I'm painting my nails. I asked, been... you, I asked you before to break. Are you, are you a Christian? You, you, you kept mentioning Christianity in the last segment. Are you a Christian? I was asking you what Jesus would do if he, like, would... If he would be insulting his guests or, you know, would he be washing their feet? Are you a Christian? Are you a Christian? You're acting like a five-year-old. Oh, are you acting like my daddy? Is that your deep, dark fantasy? It, it sounds like you need it. You need your daddy. I'm sorry he failed you. Oh, what to, do you know about my dad? Let's you, go to Greg. Tell me one thing you know about my dad, because I know your dad didn't raise you. Well, I can tell he failed you. Let's go to Natasha, I mean Natasha, Greg out of Wilmington, Delaware. Greg, you're on with Natasha. Hey, good morning, uh, Jesse. Good morning, Natasha. How are you doing? Good morning, Greg. Uh, How are you? Good, good, thanks. I work in the uh, demographics business, and I learn a lot about, on the inside, what happens in terms of loans and getting into colleges and so on. And companies actually buy data because they're forced to make a certain amount of loans to blacks where they say, okay, we're stuck having to make more loans than we normally would have to given their credit history and so on. So now let's find the best, least bad people to loan to. So they actually get more mortgages than other races. And as it relates to education, and Thomas Sowell did a great study on this, Dr. Thomas Sowell, they actually get into a better level college than they should. and actually works against them because they end up at a school that's harder than what they should be at. Are you aware of those things? Are you a racist, Greg? No, I'm not. But are you aware of those things? How are you sure that you're not a racist? Yes. I'm sure I'm not. Are you not have answered your question? No, no, I'm, twice. I'm asking you how, how you're sure you're not. Are you trolling right now? Because you just said right she sounds really are, are racist. You, are you and I wonder lie? if, like, are, you just don't know that yeah, you're I, I can tell you. I can tell you how I can tell that I'm not a racist. Did are you alive? Did person tell you you're not racist? Is that how you know? No, I know from within the same way I know I'm alive. You know, you know from within. Okay. Are you trolling yeah. right now? Um... Uh, What's her name? What's her name? Greg. Natasha. Oh, uh, Natasha. Are you trolling, Natasha? I'm sorry. Yeah, what? And, and, and <laughs> Latasha, I've had this game played on me before by black people, and it doesn't work. Yeah. And it's part of like it. Can uh, you hear him, Jesse Lee? Because I can hardly hear him. He's really breaking up. Great, I appreciate it. Hang your, on. Uh, this woman got everything she I hear just sounds racist. She's she has an issue, man. You're not gonna be able to help her. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Uh, Natasha, do you love white people? Do you love white people? Let's go to uh, Jarvis out of uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Jarvis, you're on with Natasha. Hey, how you doing, man? Good, buddy. Hey, Jarvis. Hey, what's up, ladies? Uh, let me ask you a quick question. I hear you on, I hear you on here call, uh, insinuating people without a degree was were dumb people. What is that about? I heard the word insinuate, the word degree. Yeah, you were acting as if people without a degree is about? are dumb. What I heard. You I don't hear anything right now, do you? Yeah, you can hear Hold me on. quack and dumb. Now you, now you acting dumb. You, he said you insinuated that people without degrees are dumb. What is that about? Uh, go back and read the transcript, honey. I did no such thing. I was trying to convince hey, a woman lady, with a PhD hey, who didn't hey, think hey, she had privilege honey, that in one. fact having a PhD is privilege. That yes. is a form of privilege. But that means, I mean, you should be, I mean, you talking about yourself and your whole commentary then. So you really? privileged then. I have a PhD? You know that about me? Yeah. According so, to what you said, much, that makes you privileged, right? You According to me. all the stuff you just got to be saying, that makes you privileged, right? Right? Correct? You're 
privilege right now to be talking on Jesse Lee Lee you. radio show. And what are you talking According about? According to what you You're just said, you privileged, right? I don't want to hear none of that old extra nonsense you're talking about. According to what you said, you privileged, right? Jarvis, we got to run. This woman needs help. She's not normal in the mind. Hold up. I mean, thank you Jesse for calling. We're going to take... My we'll daddy. take one more call, and then we'll let her go because she's, she, a she's going off the deep end. Let's go to Delaney. Maybe she like Delaney. Delaney out of Oakland, California. Delaney, you're on with uh, Delaney. Yeah. Hey, Oakland. first of all, oh, hey, Natasha. First of all, I just want to say thank you for being brave going on the Jesse Peterson show. And please don't take him too seriously. I've gotten on this Sorry, show plenty of times to walk circles around him. Here. But, 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 but hold on. I just like, wanted to let you know. So Delaney, thank I you. Gotta, I appreciate Natasha, it. Natasha, i got to let you go. You're a waste of time. My heart goes out to you. You have a lot of anger, and I feel sorry for you. Is that your child there with you? I know you want to help me with you're my gone, anger, Jesse, because you've been talking about all draw, the things that I need to do. You want to tell me to do some things, don't you? Thank you like for a coming on. Thank you for coming How on. How you keep all those concerns you, well. you have about me Goodbye, to Natasha. yourself? Goodbye. Goodbye. Get lost. Wow, what an evil black female. <laughs> this must be the worst Jesse Lee Peter's in the beat video I've ever watched, I'm sure, for you guys as well. Uh, look, um, the young lady, she, what she lacked was character. She had a couple of points, but she just lacked character. So that's what killed it for her. My opinion about reparation is that reparation generally encourages laziness. So I think uh, people should just go about getting jobs or starting businesses. That's a better way to go about it. But just people just sitting around waiting for someone to pay them or give them something can be very um, uh, have, can be very unproductive. That's my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Please drop them in the comments. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure um, you like and share and click on the notification bell so whenever we whenever we drop a video you get to be notified i'll see you in the next one bye bye <laughs> this was a whirlwind of a debate wow that lady was off the chains man look guys i don't know my thoughts about this whole debate about preparation preparation to me uh -uh, is a no-go it encourages laziness so i don't support preparation tell me what you think in the comments make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you like and share i'll see you in the next one i'm out